Hey friends, this is Mayan, founder of Archetype, and this is going to be a pretty quick video. Today we're going to talk about card view in iOS. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's open Xcode. So go to Xcode, create a new Xcode project, and select single view application. Click next and give it a product name. Like I will give it card app, and click next. Then create. Now you are in a project and go to main.storyboard. Now get a UI view on your view controller like this and drag and drop it right here in your view controller and give it some constraint. Let's fix some constraint a little quick like this. Uncheck the constraint to margins and select constraint give it height constraint to and add four constraints now what we want is that the view should be of a 3d a 3d view look so let's change this view to a 3d look let's make a new file make a new file and select cocoa touch class click next and let's give it this class name card view and it will be a subclass of UI view obviously and click next and create. Now go to your card view file and just start coding. Here we will use our IB designable and IB inspectables concept. So let's write IB designable. Then what we want is to change the corner radius, the shadow color, the shadow opacity and the shadow offsets or of, of our UI view. So let's bring those changes in our UI view like this, right? IB inspectable where say corner radius, corner radius, and it will be of CG float type. That's its value to be 0 for now or say 2. Now, uh, say I be inspectable where shadow shadow offset offset now shadow offset has two parameters the shadow offset width and the shadow offset height so let's set both the parameters like this let's go with the width first it will be of a CG float type yeah and its value will be say 0 for now and uh, then I be inspectable for the shadow offset height, shadow of set height like this. It will be of obviously CG float type, and its default value will be say five. Now what else? The I be inspectable and shadow color, shadow color which will be of UI color type UI color and its default color will be UI color dot say black color like this now about shadow opacity I be inspectable where shadow opacity like this and it will be of a CG float type value and its value will be say 0 0.5 0 0.5 now we will use a function we will override a function which is let's see which function is that I will introduce that function to you guys a little quick here which name is layout subviews so why do we use layout subviews so guys according to Apple developer forms here we have the layout subview function declaration and it says that the subclasses can override this method as needed to perform more precise layout of their subviews. You should override this method only if the order resizing and constraint based behaviors of the subviews do not offer the behavior you want. You can use your implementation to set the frame rectangles of your subviews directly. So that's why we have used layout subviews function in our code so what changes will be made 
using these options corner radius shadow offset width shadow offset height shadow color and shadow opacity from our attribute inspector so what changes will be made to our UI, UI view controller uh, because of all these parameters so let's write the code for that layer dot corner radius will be changed according to our corner radius next one is layer dot shadow color will change according to our shadow color dot cg color done next one is say layer dot shadow offset shadow offset equal to cg size type and it will have a width and then height so for width it will be shadow offset width and for height it will be shadow offset height like this now let's make a variable for our shadow path shadow path which will be equal to ui laser path which will have the rounded rect which will be bounds and corner radius which will be our corner radius so let's switch its value to our shadow path shadow path is equals to shadow path dot cg path cool enough now the rest one is our shadow opacity so layer dot shadow opacity will be equal to our shadow opacity like this so it's showing some error yeah make these changes and now i think we are good to go let's save these changes and switch to our main dot storyboard let's change our uh, card class our ui views class to our new card view class card view what's the name of our class card view like this and hit enter now it's updating the ui views class let's wait for a bit and you will see the changes yes i see you can clearly see the changes that we have just made you can also add some label in your ui view like this add some label let's modify this label we'll go to attribute inspector and change it somewhat like this custom then whatever type of font you want like i will choose here avenir next and i'll write uh, the size to be 25 not bad and our text will be say hello card view okay let's set some constraint to do the same like 52 57 and 28 and its height will be 52 of course at constraints now build and run this app and see what we so guys that's how our app looks finally and we have our card view effect working perfectly i guess we can use this same view controller with multiple view or multiple cards like we can take more ui views on our view controller like this no it was a scroll view let's take the ui view and let's take it right here and set some constraint on the same and change the class of this view let's change the class to be card view like this let's take one more view in the same view controller and fix its size and change its class like card view okay so here you can see clearly the card view on your view controller with multiple UI views so that's how we do it and just explore this out 
So that's how we make the card view in iOS. Hope you like the tutorial. See you in the next one. Bye bye.